Good morning class 1. How are students? Welcome to your computer class. Students, today we are going to learn a new topic, parts of computer. Okay? In worksheet 7, I have given you the different parts of the computer. Write them on your practice notebook and memorize each point. Okay? Now, all of you know there are different parts in our body. That this is hand, this is head, this is nose, this is ears, eyes, mouth, skin, chin, okay, legs. So in this way, computer also has different parts, okay. So what are the parts? Okay, we will learn them. The first part is monitor. The first part of computer is monitor. It is the main part of the computer it looks like a tv all of you have tv at your homes so monitor almost looks like a tv okay it is also known as vdu monitor is also known as vdu vdu means visual display unit means in which we can see our results or drawings or written etc. Okay. The next is keyboard. The next part of the computer is keyboard. Now, many of you have seen typewriters or many of you have computers in your home, desktops etc. Keyboards are similar, looks like a Typewriter. It has many keys on the board in through which you can type letters. Okay. It has many alphabets and buttons. The buttons on the key are called keys. Okay. Buttons on the keyboard are called keys. Okay. So keyboard is also another major part of the computer. Next is mouse. The third part of the computer is mouse. This is not the mouse or rat that runs in your home. Mouse is a part of a computer. It is a device. Here mouse is a device which looks like a real mouse. Not a real mouse, but it's also a device. Looks like a real mouse. It can use to give instructions. It is used to draw pictures or used to give instructions to the computer. The next is and the important part of the computer is CPU. It is called the brain of computer. All of us human beings has a brain here in our head. So, this is CPU is the brain of the computer. Brain of computer. Okay. CPU means central processing unit. CPU means central processing unit. Okay. It helps the computer to think. As we think from our mind, a CPU also helps the computer to think and to do work. Okay. On the next page, I have given you some full forms like UPS and ID, OD. Okay. So, UPS means uninterrupted. Uninterrupted. Power supply. Okay, and all of you know that a computer runs on electricity. So, this UPS supplies power to the computer. Okay, I have given the CPU meaning central processing unit, which is the brain of computer, video, visual display unit, that is the monitor. And ID means input 
device. Through these devices, we input the information in the computer. And OD means output device. Through these devices, we can see our results. So, okay. So, computer gives us its results through the output devices. So, students, read carefully all these full forms. Read the spellings. Okay. That's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye.